25 years of marriage. You're celebrating that this week. Yes, Highs and lows. And uh, we're se- uh, my husband and I are celebrating 25 next month. So uh, I'm right there with you. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing for the big 25th? Ooh, we're going to Israel. Oh, that's really good. Is it- I'm so oh, excited. Have He's been, been I've there? never been. I've never been. I mean, like I'm a Bible teacher with a focus on first century Jewish culture and I've never been to Israel. <laughs> that is an awesome, that's an awesome choice. Yes. Ours is a little different. We are going to Fort Worth. <laughs> um, Fort Worth. Okay. But I feel like I'm really excited. <laughs> Tell me more. What's happening? We're getting out of our first century Israel set. <laughs> no <laughs> joke, right? <laughs> We're going to go do some fun things, not in first century Israel, but I do. I am. I'm jealous of you. That's a good one. That's a really good one. We've been actually, this was supposed to be, uh, we had saved up and this trip was going to be our son's uh, high school graduation trip in April of 2020. Did not right. happen. Obviously that, that did okay. not happen. So we just been, <laughs> and actually we're taking our daughter on our trip. So it's, it's our 25th anniversary, but she's tagging along. So it's going to be fun. Uh, it's so much fun. Yes. You spent all year on first century in first century Israel. So you're going to Fort Worth. That's interesting. Uh, any highlights you're looking forward to what, um, listen, Dallas and I love, love, love eating out and talking. That's what we love. That's That's the French in you. I'll claim that. That's the French in you. Girl. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. He's when he, he went to Italy with the team a few years ago and he said, he was like, oh my gosh, we just sat and we talked and they kept bringing us food. And then we would talk some, he was like hours. I'm like, that is our jam. That is what we like to do. So that is what we're doing. And we've made our restaurant reservations and we looked at the menus and we we're just, that's what we're doing. Eating and talking and walking. Walking is the other thing we love. Well, you're so, going to have to walk that, all that food off. <laughs> so, yes, God graciously gave us those two loves. We eat and we walk. Yes. Mm-hmm. What's some of your favorite foods? What do you enjoy most? You and Dallas both. Oh, we're so different. So we have to take turns choosing the restaurant because he is steak every day, all the time, steakhouse all the foods, which I find very narrow. I'm like, Oh, another potato and another piece of meat. That's not my jam. I love all kinds of, well, first of all, Mexican uh, morning, noon, and night, I could eat Mexican food. Love it. But I love everything. That's like all the things on one thing. (laughs) So like a flatbread with 20 things, that's going to be something that I love. I will take a plate and mix all the food together. I like new things. I love sushi. I love, you know, I'm a little more buried. Dallas is same thing all the time. He's happy. I'm like, I've had that. I just had that last week. We need to go somewhere else, except for Mexican. (laughs) And now a brief message from Gospel Spice. Have you ever considered that Stephanie is available to speak to your group or at your event? She's currently booking speaking engagements, both in person and virtual for the next 12 to 24 months. Stephanie speaks on a variety of topics from scripture study to seasonal events and so much more. You can even book the Gospel Spice team to provide a more in-depth conference experience. If you follow Gospel Spice, then you know our desire is to inspire everyone to taste and see the wonderful spices that the gospel has to offer. Go to gospelspice.com forward slash speaking for details. 